Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, as I said last week, is going to be a video on my Catalyst workout as well as my speed training. So today is Wednesday. We have a little recovery workout in the Catalyst suit and then later on we'll be going to do a speed session. Yesterday and the day before, so Monday, Tuesday, we had lower body at the gym and I am feeling quite tired and sore. It's the first week that we've gotten back into off season. So yeah, body needs a little extra help recovering right now. So that's why I'm going to hop in the catalyst suit and do a recovery workout. A cool thing that I want to see is on the aura ring, it tracks your, um, your readiness and your sleep. So I'll insert on the side here, my readiness score for today and my sleep score. Sleep was good. Um, typically sleep is good for me, but my readiness was a little bit lower. So we'll see if doing a little recovery workout in the catalyst suit helps um, improve those scores for tomorrow because we are back in the gym tomorrow and Friday. So I can do a little comparison between today's readiness score and tomorrow's and hopefully the catalyst suit helps out a little bit in that department. But first and foremost, before I hop into the suit, I am going to fuel my body properly because it is a full body electro stimulation for your muscles. So your body needs to be fueled. You need to get some protein in you, uh, hydration, all of that kind of stuff. Don't skimp on those. It's important that your body is nourished and ready to go. So I've got my morning matcha like I do every morning, which I would really like to include um, collagen in here. I sometimes have the Vital Proteins collagen on hand. I'm out right now, but I add that into my matcha just to get that little extra protein because I find it hard to get enough protein in during the day. So that helps. So I gotta get that. This morning, I think I'm gonna have some eggs with a little bit of cottage cheese some kimchi for some probiotics and yeah maybe like a little slice of toast I'm not sure yet but I'll show you guys what I end up making once I sit down to eat I'm gonna make I think scrambled eggs today I'm kind of feeling scrambled now I've got my protein some pre and probiotics with the kimchi a little spice and then some cottage cheese and avocado mix for my breakfast. So we're back at our indoor facility. We have the GC Hawk here and the GC Quad on the other side. We are going to hop into our first speed session of the off season. Like I mentioned before, we are a little sore from having started the gym. So I'm not sure how much we're pushing speed today, but we're just gonna get back into the rhythm of things and uh, go through a regular speed session at our own pace. I figured it'd be best to do the catalyst recovery workout after the speed session. So I'll include that just after this. I'll show a little bit of the speed session, not too, too much because speed sessions do take like an hour or more. So that's a little bit too much to put in a YouTube video, but I'll show a little bit and show my stats kind of baseline where I'm at. Uh, and then we can see where I'm at later down the road. So we can do like a little before and after. finished my speed session is exactly what I thought that it was going to be a little bit tired sore body just didn't feel very natural today but that's okay we had a good session anyway I hit 90 full-on drivers in the speed session my average speed was probably around 107 um, 108 which is not bad for the first time back especially uh, since the body's sore and then near the end there I was able to get a couple up at 110, which I am happy about, but still lots and lots and lots of work to be done. For this session, we started out with a heavier shaft. Typically, I play with the LA Golf shafts, but I needed a heavier one to start off with the sessions, um, and that was the Ventus. So it just kind of trains your CNS, um, starting heavier and then moving into lighter stuff. So 
down the road, I'll be getting back into my LA Golf Shafts, obviously. Those are my tried and true, my favorites. So yeah, that's the speed session. And so now it's going to be recovery time. So I will hop in the Catalyst suit and show you guys kind of like my chill recovery workout on the suit. <laughs> for the catalyst recovery workout that workout was with max he is awesome he's the head trainer for catalyst oh got some tippy tappies over here with the bowie girl she wants to be involved with everything that was a nice golf recovery specifically golf which is awesome um they have so much variety on the app and the app is now available for iphones which is really convenient so it's easy to travel with and all that kind of stuff we actually got to go out to Vegas to meet the team in person for the first time and film some content with them. So we had a podcast with Bjorn, the founder and CEO of the company, and it was a two hour podcast, which is insane. Uh, it went by so fast. We always have wonderful conversations with him. It is filmed um, as well. So we have that up on my dad's YouTube channel. And it's also available for you guys to listen to on Golf WRX. Our personal podcast is called Golf's Perfect Imperfections, and you can stream it on Apple, Spotify, um, and also through the Golf WRX website. So it's Golf WRX Radio that we do our podcast through, which is a lot of fun. That was the first time I've done the golf recovery workout, and it was lovely. It's kind of like an intensified version of your typical stretches, but because these impulse pads go and target all of the little areas that maybe you can't target yourself, it helps with the fast tracking of recovery, which is awesome. I will leave links to the podcast for you guys down below, as well as the link to their website if you guys are interested in getting one for yourself. Uh, it is quite the amazing unit and machine, and I am very grateful to be able to work with such an amazing company. The team over at Catalyst is incredible. The product is amazing, which is important, but the team behind the company is even better. Good morning, it is the next day. I wanted to check back in about my Aura Ring readiness score to see if the Catalyst suit had helped improve um, my readiness for the day. And it actually went up by like 10 points. So that's pretty cool. And before bed last night, I'm not gonna lie, I was extremely sore to the point where like, I just like couldn't get comfortable anywhere. You know that like, you're so sore, you just can't. That was me last night and I woke up feeling a lot better. I'm still a little bit sore, but not to the point where I feel like I can't go for a workout today or function properly. Just like that uncomfortable soreness last night. So it was not, not very fun, but I woke up and my back feels way better. And I feel like now I can actually confidently take on another workout. But we are going to be doing upper body today and tomorrow. <clears throat> so I think I'll be just fine. That catalyst workout really, really helped. If you notice the cadence of the catalyst workout yesterday, the recovery one is like a steady impulse 
and it gradually gets uh, more and more intense as you go along in the workout. And obviously you can um, steady out the intensity if it gets to the point where you feel like you're good and you don't need any more. I did that in my workout yesterday. I kind of like forgot that in the recovery, the, cade, um, the intensity of the impulses continued to go up throughout the, the session. And I was like, oh man, I looked at the TV and it was like at 300 and something. I was like, okay, we're gonna steady that out and bring it back down a little bit. <laughs> so that's what I did. And I was able to finish the workout out nicely. It was nice to have like a golf specific one because it stretched out all of the things that I um, worked out yesterday in the speed session. So that was like a perfect compliment to the start of the week and the speed session. And I'm very pleased that my body's feeling better today after that catalyst recovery workout. So yeah, we're gonna be good to go. And again, thank you for watching the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this style of video. I really enjoyed filming it. I feel like now that Moo and I are in our new space, um, I'm feeling a lot more motivated and creative for content on YouTube. And I really, really enjoy the more like chatty vlog style casual stuff. I feel like that suits my vibe a little more than like those really formal sit down um, videos, which are good every once in a while. Don't get me wrong. I'll definitely do some of those if you guys want me to like dedicated videos to certain things, but I like the casualness of these. So hope you enjoyed. I will see you in my next one soon. Bye.